In this video, I'll show you how to make an attractive hummingbird feeder out of some discarded bottles and cans. You will need a bottle with a screw-on cap, two aluminum cans, scissors, a screwdriver, a 1 8 inch drill or a medium-sized nail, and some 5-minute epoxy. Using a flat screwdriver, poke a hole in the bottle cap like this. Use the wedge shape of the scissors to increase the size of the hole to about 3 8 of an inch, or 1 centimeter in diameter. Take one of the aluminum cans and make a matching hole in the center of the bottom end. Now, mark both of your aluminum cans about 3 8 of an inch, or 1 centimeter, from the bottom edge, like this. Use your scissors to cut the top off each can. Be very careful not to cut yourself on the sharp metal edges. Continue down the side and along the line that you drew earlier. Take the end piece with a hole and make three equally spaced marks around the outer tapered edge. Make a single cut into one side of this end piece and carefully fit it inside the other end piece, like this. Mix up a small amount of epoxy and spread a thin layer around the outer seam to ensure a watertight seal. Spread the remaining epoxy onto the flat side of the bottle cap and attach it to the base assembly, lining up the holes. Now let the epoxy set. This should only take a couple minutes. Using the 1 8 inch drill bit, or a similar sized nail, make three holes around the outer edge. Now draw and cut out flower shapes from the leftover pieces of aluminum can, one inch to an inch and a half in diameter. Drill holes in the center of each flower. Now is a good time to paint these pieces. Use bright colors to attract the hummingbirds. I'm using red and yellow to make the flowers visually jump out more. Once the paint is dried, mix up another small batch of epoxy. Glue the flowers onto the base using toothpicks to help line up the holes. Be sure to remove the toothpicks before the epoxy sets completely. Lightly bend the petals to add some natural shape. Screw the bottle into the bottle cap base. Attach a hanger onto the bottle using twine, hot glue, or wire. Here are a few examples. Your hummingbird feeder is now finished. Click here to find out how to make your own hummingbird food. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel for more original how-to videos. Thanks for watching.